Good evening, this is Skitch Henderson, and I'm here in Monitor's Radio Central in New York, and this evening I'll be hosting you to some of the finest music in the world, conducted by the greatest maestros of our age on Monitor's Monday evening concert. First, though, our Monitor Beacon takes us to Hollywood, where Groucho Marx invites you to play You Bet Your Life. What's the secret word for tonight, George Fenneman? Ladies and gentlemen, the secret word for tonight is shoe. S-H-O-E. Really? You bet your life. The National Broadcasting Company presents Groucho Marx in You Bet Your Life, the comedy quiz show transcribed from Hollywood. And now, here he is, the one, the only... Well, here I am again with a chance for each of our couples to win up to $10,000. And if any of them say the secret word, they'll win an extra 100 bucks. And Groucho will meet our first couple in just a moment. on the agenda. As uh, you suggested last week, uh, we asked Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Leon Silvers and their six children to come back tonight, and I'm sure that they'll uh, sing us a uh, Christmas song or two, and they're here, and they'll be on a little later. But right now, I'd like to introduce Mr. William T. U. Kale and Miss Bonnie Scott. So folks, come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to You Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and take home an extra $100. Good evening. Thank you. Bonnie Scott and William Kale, huh? Yes, sir. Well, Bonnie, you, you you are Bonnie, real Bonnie, and Bill, you are too. How old are you, Bonnie? Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, well, you're a fine-looking girl. Thank you. Uh, do you have a job? I'm a singer and dancer and an actor. Oh. Actress? How long have you been an actress? Well, I started studying, well, I started studying dancing when I was two and a half. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Singing when I was eight and acting, I guess I started when I was around 15. In other words, you've been learning to be an actress for 16 years. Huh? Just about. Do you realize it only takes seven years to become a doctor? And only nine years to be a plumber? <laughs> it actually only takes eight years to be a plumber, but it takes one year for him to get from his place of business to your house. <laughs> we we'll get a number of letters, uh, in the next few days from the Plumbers Association. <laughs> and you're William, too, huh? Yes, Doctor. Well, how can you be two when you're only actually one? <laughs> well, that's my family name. Your family that's is two? That's Chinese family name, Tiu. You had two mothers and two fathers? <laughs> Just one. So where is your home, in Shanghai? No, uh, I was born in Manila. You were born in Manila? Yes, right now I'm living in Los Angeles. Are you married? Oh, I'm very much married. Well, well how does very much married... Uh, I've been married. We're just being married. I mean, I don't understand. I've been married for 13 years. Uh-huh. <laughs> How is your marriage working out? Do you fight much? Well, uh, minor skirmishes, but no major battle. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you settle arguments in China? Compromise. Well, like how, I mean? Well, let's see, say you had a bit of fight about something. Your wife wanted more money than you think that she ought to have. Well, now, we set a happened? compromise, you know. Well, like, well, how do you do that, I like to have a dozen ki- kids, you know. And you like to have what? A dozen children. A dozen Twelve children. children you want? And she wanted only eight. Uh-huh. So, so you got together and compromised? Yes, that's right. Well, that's interesting. Well, how many did you wind up with? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> do 
You know, I remember in school the Missouri Compromise, but uh, the Chinese Compromise is a new one on me. <laughs> Why did you come to the United Snakes? Uh, to get on the, the other side? My little girl is coming to States for show business. Oh, she's going. you have a little girl here that is going to be in show business? Yes, we came with her. Oh, well, how old is your daughter? As old as Bonnie? No, she is younger. Uh, a little younger. She's five years old. What does your daughter want to do in show business, though? She plays the piano. Has she had any experience before the public? Oh, yes. Uh, she appeared in Ed Sullivan's show, uh, Danny Thomas' show, and Jimmy Durante's show. I assume she's standing in the wings there. Why don't you trot out and uh, bring her in? Huh? Your name is Bonnie, too? Ginny, too. Ginny, too, huh? Do you speak English, Ginny? A little bit. Uh -huh. Well, you are a little bit. <laughs> well, we ought to get along fine. I don't speak too much English, either. Now, can she do anything else besides play the piano? Well, uh, it's personate people. She does impersonations, huh? Well, That's right. You let her do an impersonating, uh, impersonation, and we'll see if we can get it, huh? All right. Be well, Ginny, you do something, huh? You go out front. Jenny to stick around. All right. After Jenny the quiz, I may want her out here again. Bye, Jenny. All right, well, let's play your bet your life. George? George, would you bring in the question box, please? The honest one. <laughs> now, what category did Bill and Bonnie choose? Uh, you selected cities of foreign countries, right? Is that right? Yes, sir. Bonnie, pick a question. You understand how to play the game, right? Yes. You're taking a $300 question, and you know they're the hardest. Here are the cities, Pretoria and Durban, D-U-R-B-A-N. You tell me what country that is. Pretoria, P-R-E-T-O-R-I-A, and D-U-R-B-A-N. What's the country? D-U-R-B-A-N? You don't know guess. Ireland. <laughs> You're pretty close. It's the Union of South Africa. <laughs> well, I said those are the hard we questions. We told you so. those were the hard ones. You now, time. you have three more questions to make $500. Now, don't okay. get discouraged. You're 200. Yeah, we're 200? Yeah, all right. For $200, here are the cities. Bonn, B-O-N-N, -N, and Cologne. What's the country? Germany. Germany is right. Now you got two hundred dollars. Three more hundred, and you'll uh, get a chance at the big money at the end of the show. Uh, another two hundred dollar question. For two hundred dollars, here are the cities: Auckland, A U C K L A N D, and Wellington. What is the country? Wellington and Auckland. New talk Zealand. It, talk it over. Uh, New Zealand is right, but on the next question, talk it over first because she might have a different answer. You uh, now you have. You now have four hundred dollars. You need a hundred more to get a chance at the big money. Here are the cities, Salzburg and Innsbruck. What is the country? S-A-L-Z-B-U-R-G, I-N-N-S-B-R-U-C-K. Name the country. Isn't that where they have the famous what did festivals? You say? Austria? Austria is right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you up at $500, it means you've got a chance at uh, 2, 5, or 10 at the end of the show. Now, ordinarily, we wait until the end of the show before you get a chance at the wheel. But we've got something special going tonight. So we're going to give you a crack at the big money right now. I have here a question, and I will see how much it's going to be worth. You pick a number for a total of $10,000. Any number from 1 to 10? 3. Put up a 3, George. Now, you pick a number for 5,000. 8. 8. Put up an 8. Now, your numbers are 8 and 3. 
If any other number comes up, the question is worth a total of $2,000. Whatever you win is yours, total for the night. Okay, one of you spin the wheel. Okay. Your number was uh, eight and three, and it came up four. You can't get closer than that. So this question is worth a total of $2,000. As a result of one of the great engineering feats of our time, the Great Lakes are now open to ocean-going traffic. For a total of two grand, what is the name of this waterway that connects Chicago with the sea? Talk it over. All right, what's the answer you decided upon? Lake Michigan. No. I'm sorry, it's been on the front page almost every day. It's the St. Lawrence Seaway, and there it is. I'm sorry you missed it, but thanks. Uh, good luck and a happy new year. And stick around, because we have something coming up again that I think you'll enjoy. In just a moment, our second couple will join Groucho to play You Bet Your Life. The best things in life are free. And that's so very true of the better-than-ever entertainment that's yours on radio these days. You take, for example, a popular quarter hour of country music's best that's known as the Red Foley Show, presided over by a fellow who's the past master of all things musical in the way of favorite tunes, old and new. But uh, since it's his show, let's let that gentleman himself tell you about it. Joe, my friend, you twist a mean phrase there. And friends, uh, what our show boils down to is we try our level best to include the songs and the singing stars that you want most to hear. I guess, Joe, that's, that's our story in a nutshell. Well, we could talk all day and still not give you the full idea of the homespun, easygoing flavor of the Red Foley Show, if you haven't already heard it. So do just that. Hear it. Hear the Red Foley Show every Saturday. Groucho, um, last week, uh, Leon and Shirley Silvers were on our show with their wonderful family of six children, and all of us, including our audience, uh, wanted to see them again, so uh, we uh, invited them back, and they're here tonight, uh, the Silvers family. Which welcome talks. back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Gucci Gucci. Well, Leon, you and your family were a smash last week. Do you know that? Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to win $100,000 on a quiz show? Well, actually, it was only two two thousand. Did you have to say that? Couldn't you? <laughs> two thousand dollars. Well, that's not too bad. What do you plan to do with all that uh, money? It's gone. <laughs> you mean my check bounced? <laughs> Where'd the money go? Well, we paid some of our bills. We got our automobile fixed. And we paid off the insurance premium. We dressed the kids, <laughs> and we got a half a cow for our freezer. You bought half a cow? Well, there's six kids in the family. I hope you bought the half that gives milk. <laughs> Charlie, didn't you and Leon even get a souvenir for yourselves with part of that money? Well, yes, we did. As a matter of fact, we did better than that. What'd we you... uh, finished paying for the last baby. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about making that last payment on the kid. The very few finance companies will repossess a baby. <laughs> Well, they'll take everything else, I must say. Well, you've done an inspiring job of raising your family. You have wonderful-looking children. Santa Claus has got a real surprise for you tonight. George, uh, Mr. Fenneman, would you come out here, please? You remember Mr. Fenneman? Yes. Now, Leon, you and Shirley have such a nice family, I've decided to give you George for a Christmas present. <laughs> now, George, have you got surprise number one? I think I have. Why don't you give it to the post? Read it out. Pay to the order of Leon and Shirley Silvers. Five hundred dollars. That's right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we gave you that so you can buy a present for you and your wife. Oh. Sacrifice is all right, but you can overdo that, do you know? Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't think you can overdo sacrifice for a wonderful family. No, but that's quite true. I would uh, 
But I didn't see any reason why you had to humiliate me in front of these people. <laughs> <laughs> All parents sacrifice, that's all they do. Yes, now, Carl, for the big surprise, George and I have been doing quite a bit of snooping the past week. We're expert snoopers. And we learned that this music of family that spends so much time singing doesn't even have a piano. Now, Shirley, do you think the family would like a piano? Huh? My goodness, of course. Well, oh, do any of you play the piano? I do. You do? My husband does that. Would you all turn around towards and face this? Everybody, the little ones too. All turn around. <laughs> That is our Christmas present to the Silvers family. Shirley, what do you think of your new piano? Oh, God. I'm almost speechless. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of fun out of it. Oh, How about yeah. letting Jenny, uh, too, break it in for you? Oh, Jenny wonderful. is a pretty fine. She is. Could you send our Jenny, too, and her, her father come out here? And, and bring Bonnie Scott, too. George, haven't we got some business to take care of while everybody's getting ready? Uh, yes, Groucho. In fact, this would be a very good time to hear from one of our sponsors. We'll be back with Ginny Two and the Silvers family and Groucho in just a moment. Bill, what do you suggest that uh, Jenny play for us? Well, she just cut an album. Uh, the name is All I just cut a tooth the other day. <laughs> <laughs> All This and Jenny Too. All plays. This and Jenny Too is the title? <laughs> That's right. No. And she plays Mozart, Brahms, Chopin, and... Simultaneously? Beethoven, and also swings and jazz. Oh. Well, why would Jenny like to play? Jenny, leave the piano to me. She wants to play the piano. Miss Martha, that's there. Put stick right. Oh, huh? she wants to play Put stick right. How do you say that in Chinese? Uh, play huh? <laughs> And put some soya sauce on. <laughs> we are two more. We get the shrimp. Elvis, it's your turn. Leon, if I remember correctly, you like to write original music for the whole family to sing, isn't that right? Yes, I do, Groucho. Well, have you got something Christmassy that you could do right now? <clears throat> well, I think, I think we have. Uh, Olympia, tell Mr. Marks what we're going to sing. We're going to sing Christmas tree. You're going to sing Christmas tree? Yes. Tell me, here's the key.
Christmas to all of you. You Bet Your Life is transcribed in Hollywood, produced by John Goodell, directed by Robert Dwan and Bernie Smith, music by Jack Meekin. This is George Fenneman pointing out the beginning January 8th. Groucho and You Bet Your Life will be heard on radio every Friday night on this station. Remember, Groucho will be on radio every Friday starting January 8th. This is the NBC Radio Network. Mm-hmm.